Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in today and coming back and all that stuff. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. And I'm working on a photo that I thought was unsavable. Um, that's why I titled this video Saving the Unsavable because I, this is a photo that I passed in my library and I passed in my library and I passed it again. I like the idea of the photo a lot. The execution of the photo, however, was crap, to be honest. It didn't come out the way I wanted it. So here's the photo. Let me just jump into that. So. I was in London, um, this was on my trip back at the uh, beginning of this year, and I was at St. Paul's Cathedral, and what I was trying to do is I had my wide angle lens, and I was kind of close to the curb, as you can see, and I was looking at St. Paul's, and I was trying to get the street, and I was trying to get a, just a nice blur um, of a, a double-decker bus. But there was a lot of traffic, so there were a lot of lights going by. I mean, there's light streaks, there's like specular highlights, there's uh, the bus like stopped and started, so you get these weird splotchy things. Um, and not to mention the fact it's just yellow and bright and ugly. Um, so that's why I kept passing it up in my library. I was like, well, it was a good try. Um, you know, hey, I had fun. It was a nice try. At least I was in London and not sitting at home. Um, and so that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, I oh, forget it. I'll, I'll never make anything out of that. But then I told myself, you know, hey, Jim, get in there. Get in Luminar and see, see what you can do. You're not going to get anything done, Jim, with an attitude like that. I sound like my dad. Um, so... Um, I said, you're damn right, Jim. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick myself up by the bootstraps, drag this photo to Luminar, and kick its ass. I'm going to show this photo who's boss. And I'm the boss of this photo, and that's what I made. So now, that's very different, right? Um, <laughs> in case you didn't notice. Uh, so there's the before, and there's the after. So I made a, just a, to be honest, a shitload of changes. Um, and it took me a while to experiment. Now, I'm not going to drag it out in the video. Let me dive into that. And uh, we'll get going, but I had a lot of fun. And so that's, to me, the beauty and the power of Luminar is like, you can take something that you consider just a complete waste of digital space, and you can turn it into something you like. Now, it's not perfect, it's far from perfect, but it's a photo that I would publish and that I would say, hey, I took that. Whereas, you know, this version, I'd be like, uh, how did that get in my library? Who, who took that, right? So um, let me show you how it works. Okay, so here we are. Now, the base photo is this, right? Uh, but this is a develop filter uh, because of the way it works. I can't turn it off. I've turned off the other ones, but I think I think I have 11 filters here um, The first thing I did was go into the lens correction. So let me show you the distortion There it is wide-angle lens and you know I've straightened out gotten sort of that bulbish look out of the front of st. Paul's but then I also went into transform uh, And I made a number of changes here and I've got a video tutorial and I'll put the link up here uh, about how to use the, the lens correction and transform. I won't go into it here for the sake of time, but um, su uh, suffice it to say, I was able to go from that, where it was a little too bulbous and those buildings were really leaning, to that. Now the buildings on the right still lean a little bit. I didn't get them perfect, but you know, this isn't about perfect. The photo is far from perfect, uh, but I was happy with it. And then over here, I made a major shift in temperature, added a little bit of tint, bumped up the contrast, took down the highlights and the whites and gave it a little bit of clarity. And so I went from that to that, and that was at the point, uh, or that was the point at which I said to myself, you know, you might have something here that you actually might want to just like be proud of or whatever. So um, I just started throwing filters at it. And as I said, I landed on 10 or 11 different filters, but the truth is I probably tried 20 or 30. I was like, what about soft glow? What about split toning? What about, you know, just going to some of my regulars and some, I even tried a uh, high key. Like, who uses that? I mean, that's a portrait thing, so I know. Um, but I literally, I've never used it on a photo that I'm aware of, but I was trying it. I was like, what the hell? Um, I was just throwing stuff. But um, because it's me, I did add saturation and vibrance. It's just a little bump in vibrance. That's it. Uh, and then I got the AI filter, and I did that. And, and you know, I'm liking the light, um, which is kind of, you know, primarily what I'm doing here in the beginning. Uh, but then I said, hey, how about dehaze? Because it's not hazy, but that... Um, all the light streaks are kind of, uh, you know, I don't know, hard to see through. They're kind of, uh, what's the word? Um, they're just bright, I guess. I don't know. But the dehaze actually cut them down. Also, I think helped the sky a little bit. So I was like, hey, you know, this is kind of looking pretty cool. Um, what I didn't like is all the colors. I don't like, there's too much yellow for me uh, and not enough of the blues and the reds. And so here's where I said, well, let me get brilliance and warmth and just kind of move some of that to the uh, the right um, well, it took the warmth to the left because I am keeping it kind of in the blue realm. Uh, and then I went and got cross-processing and I got Seattle. And Seattle's the one that I used on a sunset photo a while back that gives it a nice little pink tint. So let me show you the before, right, without that, and the after. So now I'm really starting to like the colors. And at this point, I feel like I'm sliding downhill because I always know when I'm 
somewhere like around this, I can say, oh, I can hop into color balance and I can move stuff around that I wanna move around because it gives you so much control. And I'm getting to that one here in a minute. Um, so I'm like, this is gonna just totally work. Um, but first I added image radiance. And if you look, it adds a little bit of shadow. It is nighttime. Uh, with the long exposure, it's kind of bright. Uh, the photo, right, the base photo, by the way, super bright. But even so, um, the image radiance gives a little bit more of that shadow and a little bit of that romantic glow, which I like uh, in cityscapes at night. I just, I just kind of like it. Uh, and then here's color balance. Uh, and so it's pretty minor, but you know, again, I brought up some of the blues in the midtones. I basically went more to the cyan and more to the blue, and I didn't do anything in shadows or how, yeah, I didn't really need to because just that little move to me, let me show you the before, a little bit redder there in the center and the after now, a bit bluer. And again, I'm liking that. I'm big in the blues, so I can't help that. Um, one thing that needed some help was the skies, a little bit noisy and that sort of thing. So I just added structure, but I went negative. Uh, so I do this all the time, negative structure with a little boost, and then I mask it into the sky. So let me show you the brush and where I put it. I just kind of painted it in there pretty quickly. And all that does is smooth things out. It's the, when you go negative with structure, it just makes it soft and kind of buttery. I don't know why I say buttery, but it just makes me think of it. Um, uh, and then dodge and burn. So here, if you look, uh, let me show you the original. The, the tops, the two towers or steeples perhaps, um, uh, in the uh, in St. Paul's are fairly well lit and by now they've gotten a little darker I've added a lot of contrast, you know, I've added uh, the image radiance and that sort of thing So I just took dodge and burn and I just painted in there a little bit just to brighten that a ton uh, Not a ton just a tad um, I just wanted to bring back some of that light because I want that steeple to be brighter So let me show you the dark and the bright uh, not a major difference, but enough to give it a little bit more visibility uh, And then it was just a vignette and for me, this was just, I wanna focus on that cathedral. It does give a little bit more color contrast by darkening those edges. I think it makes the colors pop a little bit more. And then I added a little bit of inner light. Uh, and that was it. Uh, so let me show you again the before. There was the before, wide angle lens, kind of bulbous. And this was like 10 or 15 seconds. You know, you see a bus coming and you're like, okay, go. And for me, it's kind of always guesswork. So I'm always adjusting the exposure time and the, uh, the f-stop. This one was, I think, f-16. Yeah, f-16. And, you know, you don't get the uh, exposure time in Luminar uh, with the XF uh, data, so I think it's 10 seconds or so. But anyway, vignette is where I was. There's without a vignette, and I think with a vignette, it just nice, you know, dark around the edges, which what I want to do, I want to draw you into that streaking bus uh, and that beautiful cathedral. Uh, and then that inner light really helps to really focus that. And, and that was it. I mean, um, that's really how it works, before and after. Massive difference. I mean, it's, it's like not even the same photo. You know, you look at that in your library and pass it up time after time. That's what I did. Uh, and now I look at this and I'm like, you know what? That's a pretty cool shot. And so I challenge you to like dive in your library and go find something that you're just like, that's a dog. I mean, why did I even take it? That sucks. Um, and drag it into Luminar, Luminar and give it a whirl because you may be surprised at what you come up with because if I can take something that's that much of a mess, I mean, that's just, that's just a god-awful mess, right? And turn it into that, which, you know, frankly, is still a mess. And, and to be clear, I'm not saying, look at my great photo. What I am saying is, wow, look at the difference between a really bad photo and a not as bad photo. But the difference is massive. So I'm really focused on the difference here, not so much about, hey, great, look at my amazing shot. Because there's some things... You know, the, the light streaks aren't great. This white stuff here and there and the stuff down below, I don't really like a whole lot. And this one's kind of splotchy over here, but there were multiple cars and buses and cabs going, it was just busy um, and it wasn't ideal. But you know what? It looks a whole lot better than that. And that's what the video is about. So drag one of your dogs into Luminar, give it a whirl, see what you can come up with. And uh, I bet you'd be surprised. And that's it, my friends. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun with the photo and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back real soon with more videos. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Uh, be sure and hit subscribe and like and share. Share with your friends, I'd appreciate that. And that's it, I'm out of here. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching, take care, see you soon, and adios.